Good evening, Dan Fitzpatrick here, stockmarketmentor.com, and I want to look at uh, Target today. Now, if we do get another uh, round of uh, stimulus checks, you know, all the trillions that are going out um, to big uh, companies that are kind of breaking up into smaller ones so they can get all the graft that they can from Washington, kind of like Ruth's Chris, and I didn't get the whole Ruth's Chris thing. What's a Chris? Anyway, um, doesn't matter. So um, companies or stores like Target, Dollar General, Big Lots, you know, Walmart too for that matter, um, that have reasonable prices, those are probably going to get uh, the benefit from that. But the cool thing about Target is this has already made a big move. Earnings break out, right? Massive volume, 40 million shares. And then it, it hasn't really pulled back a lot you know, uh, just a, a little bit from where that opening gap was, but just about 3%. And after that kind of gap, that's kind of a big deal. And so if we just look at, say, where the box is, this was the high here, and then this was the low. And so this stock has been in this trading range here until today. Now the box uh, has to expand to take in um, to account uh, today's prices. So this is what I think. Like I'm looking at this stock and on a short-term basis, I, I look at the high, then I, I look at the low, and I've got about 9%, but more to the point, about 14 bucks uh, from top to bottom. So what I do is I'll take wherever the breakout is right around here and extend that about 14 bucks. This isn't hard. Um, and I look at 170 bucks. And so as I look at this stock right now, I think 170 bucks is your target. That's what I would be looking for on upside from this stock. And then maybe just put your stop a fairly loose one, maybe three and a half percent. And the idea is if the stock does pull back, you, you don't want to be hanging on to the stock all the way down to the bottom to see if it's going to hold that level. You, you just don't want, if you're going to do that, then what you need to do is just sit on this thing and wait till it ultimately tests the 50 day moving average as you know, ultimately that'll happen. But for now, you really got to kind of look at a breakout buy with a target above 170. Um, but again, you want to keep a fairly tight stop because the stock is extended. But the thing is, these powerful stocks, they can get even more extended. Okay, so anyway, that's it. Members um, got a new stock on the growth stock list, and um, I'm just following up on some trades uh, and new trading ideas that we have right now. Okay, so check that out.